I remember, you know, the fact that we were on cloud nine, uh, starting the season off on a good note. Uh, the only bad part about the entire night was the fact that Ed McCaffrey gets hurt and breaks his leg. Brian Greasy's family was in town for that game. Even so, he got up early to visit his friend in the hospital. Moments before he arrived, the world stopped and watched. And they had turned on the TV, and right at that moment uh, was the first plane had already hit the, the Trade Center. And at that moment, we, we watched the second one um, hit, the, hit the World Trade Center. And I, di I didn't know, obviously, I didn't know what to think. Uh, couldn't believe what we were watching. I got a voicemail from my sister who was living and working in Midtown Manhattan. And she said, hey, you might want to put your, I'll never forget the words, still to this day, it makes me shudder, but she said, you might want to put the TV on, we've been attacked. As the nation was sucked into a vortex of grief, many wondered how we could move on. But usually there's, there's less pain and, and less lives lost. I mean, this was an epic all-time disaster. And uh, not even sports could bring New York City or the communities around the world together. That took a really long time. Just two weeks later, football would resume as the Broncos took on the Cardinals in Arizona. And being there for that experience of having fans back and, and to come together, I remember thinking we didn't know if they were going to let fans come because we didn't want to create targets. We didn't know how many targets there were going to be. And for at least three hours, you know, maybe take people's minds off of what was going on. We felt like it was the least that we could do was to go and entertain uh, and do our job to the best of our ability to, you know, honor the country and the people that, you know, fight for us every single day. 20 years later, the Broncos will face the Giants near New York City, where the painful memories remain and the nation will reflect on where they were on 9-11. Hard not to shed a tear when you, when you, when you go by that and, and see everything they did there. So it's a, it's a stark reminder. That reminder should never go away. You know, we shall never forget. Um, and I'm, I, I feel that way. It's hard to believe it's been 20 years, but, but at the same time, you know, I can remember it like it was yesterday. You know, every time September 11th rolls around, the year doesn't matter anymore. Uh, that association of, you know, one of the most devastating days in our history, and certainly in my life, it just uh, comes to mind as the next snap.